previously on Ace Attorney Investigations. Kay Faraday here, mofos. And here's what happened in the last episode. It turns out that the witness to the crime was actually some random old lady whose name I forget. Utilizing my new ability of Little Thief Power Makeup! Mr. Edgeworth was easily able to point out the contradictions in the old lady's testimony. And Not when I was young, huh? Um, People used to call me a guy when back in the day. You kindly spot it. a good man a hundred paces uh, away as I walked down the street just look, like that. Of course, they always lady, me in a I, and tried to make their move, but I'm will not you just no sorry, just like the eagle. I always made the first uh, Shut up! Okay, screw it, quick version. We found out the victim was on the stage after Wolverine over there decided to be a dick. There! Done! I'm gonna go grab some whiskey. Oh, wait, I'm underage. Oh, fuck! But then, what about the footprints? Since footprints don't lie, we can assume then that the killer also wore a costume. Okay, I'll try using that data instead! Judging by the fact that both the killer and the victim were wearing costumes, I'd say it was a killing between the two kidnappers. That would be the most natural conclusion. Wouldn't you agree, Agent Lang? Hmph. <laughs> well done, Mr. Prosecutor. But that alone doesn't clear Officer Meekins of the crime. I ask that you take another good look at the tire marks over there. The three marks are indicative of the Blue Badger Mobile. That story Officer Meekins told about the shop on wheels getting stolen was just a lie. He drove the Blue Badger Mobile here and committed the murder. Then he used the car to move the body to the garage in the Wild Wild West area. You believe he moved the body with the car? That's right. It was Officer Meekins himself who pointed us to the way he did it. The three tire tread marks are very telling. However, is the Blue Badger Mobile the only thing capable of creating such a pattern? It's time to show you who the real Alpha Male is here, Lang. And I suppose I'll start by breaking your testimony into pieces. It's obvious to anyone that given the position of the Badgermobile inside the garage where the body was discovered, that that Badgermobile has not been taken out of that garage yet. Now, for the decisive piece of evidence that will show you just how wrong you are. OBJECTION! That was not the decisive piece of evidence I meant to show you. Um, this was. OBJECTION! No good. No good at all. Sorry, Agent Lang, but that's an impossible tale. And why is that? Those tire marks could not have been left by Officer Meekins' blue Badgermobile. One look at the car would have told you so. What proves that the blue Badgermobile had never been to this stadium? Well, it's not exactly the position of the car, but unless Meekins has invested in some OxyClean, there's a definite contradiction here. Take that! Take a good look at the tires. There's not a single dollop of mud to be found on it. <clears throat> if this car had come to the backstage area and left those tire tracks, then the lack of mud on these tires stands out as very peculiar indeed. Then how do you explain the tire tracks, genius? Hey, I've got it! What about Miss Old Bag's pink badger mobile? Oh, don't be ridiculous! I was sleeping the entire time in the second tier seats! Indeed, I believe we can rule her out as someone related to the crime. However, there is yet one more roving store, as I recall. Oh! You mean the Proto Badger! That's right. There was one more parking space inside that garage. And it proves the existence of a Proto Badger mobile! Agent Lang. I suggest you find this proto-badger meal post-haste. There must still be some sort of incriminating evidence in it. <laughs> hey, did you hear something? 
Help me. Are you all right? Does he have his wallet on him? Well, this is something. Looks like we found our kidnapping victim. Where were you all this time? Wild West. With kidnappers. He was in the room next to the one I was held in? Ran away. Using underground. Got lost. The kidnappers. Hmm? What is it? I can't understand what you're trying to say. The kidnappers escaped wearing costumes. Did you see the faces of your kidnappers? No, I didn't see their faces. But two, one was a woman. A woman? Quite an important piece of testimony. Hey, what are you guys doing? Stop standing there and get your cops on this already. I'll even let you guys have what this kid said just now. Consider it a gift. Now, are you going to get out of my crime scene, or am I going to have to get rough? Uh, again? You're nothing but a big bully. Come on, Mr. Edgeworth, let's go. No, 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 not you. You're a very important witness for my case. I'm not about to let you get away that easily. Don't count on me to testify, because I won't. Not for you. That's right, I won't either. You hear me, you whippersnapper? Hey, calm down. There's no need for all this hostility. I just want to take a statement from each of you. I'm not going to rough either one of you up. I give you my word. Come now, fair maidens. What do you say? Will you cooperate? Oh, fair maidens. My little rascal, you sure know the way into a woman's heart. I'd like to know my way into your pants. Lang Zi says, The passage of time is but a fleeting moment, and a lady is young forever. <laughs> Trying to outdo my edgy poo with your fancy schmancy sayings. Oh, let's get this over with. So we're clear, I'm only interested in giving you my statement. Never my heart. Sure. Just as soon as Mr. Prosecutor leaves us be. Oh, yeah? Well, you're a nerd, Mr. Edgeworth. Come on, Mr. Edgeworth, we don't need this. Oh, don't worry, dear. We'll make do with Mr. Chesty McChest over here. Pity he's whacked within an inch of his life. Must be that Asian thing. I just don't understand why they're hairless. Give me good old Robin Williams any day. God rest his soul. Ugh, looks like we got the food again. With Lance safe, the focus of the investigation will shift solely onto the murder. You mean the infighting between the kidnappers? Yes, and also the identity of the remaining kidnapper. Miles, my boy! Yes, we found his son! Make it rain! Tell me it's true! Tell me that you really found my boy! Yes, Mr. Romano. We found him earlier in the stadium. Then my little Lance is unhurt? He's not exactly the picture of perfect health, but his life is not in danger. He's being questioned right now by Agent Lang. Poor Lance! It must have been so horrible for him! Locked up like a... <laughs> Miles, my boy. I can't thank you enough. It was nothing. I'm still in shock over what happened to Oliver. But I have to say I'm relieved that Lance is all right. Oh, that's right. I mustn't forget to pass this on to Lance as soon as the police are finished with him. A letter? 
Oh, the way Lance is being chased after by women reminds me of someone I know. <laughs> I almost can't believe he received yet another love letter, you know. Here, take a look for yourself. Isn't this a breach of confidentiality? It's a very simple love letter. Oh? Someone's actually into him? Let me see! Huh? That's really weird. It's from a loan company, Tender Lender. Looks more like a collection bill to me. I wonder if Mr. Amano can tell us any more about this mysterious love letter. <laughs> that looks to be something with quite a bit of value. But then, all things have some value attached to them. Only by probing deep into the unknown can we become true winners in this world, Miles. Thanks, but knowledge isn't what's going to make me a winner here. It's information. 200, 400, 600... Mm, there's nothing out of the ordinary. He loves me, he loves me not. He loves me, he loves me not. Aw, that's the twelfth one! No, you can't give up, Lauren! Just one more try! Excuse me, but I can't help but feel a bit sorry for all the flowers you've gone through. I suppose... if they were me, then... I believe you said that you were Lance's girlfriend when we first met, correct? Yes, I, I am, but... Oh, it's not like we both think of each other as lovers! But he did give me this ring, so I guess we're not just friends, either? I mean, because! This isn't just any ordinary ring! It tastes so sweet when you lick it! Oh, it's so wonderful! You mean to tell me that he gave you a lollipop ring? So which is it? Have you guys not decided if you're going out, or is it just one-sided? Decided? Shouldn't the parties involved naturally just know? My father used to work for Mr. Amano. And so, Lance and I grew up together. I said it out loud! I don't see how that's anything to be embarrassed about. So, your father was an employee of the Amano Group. What did he do? I heard his job was to fly around the world. On Pegasus. P Pegasus? Oh, Pegasus was the name of the airplane. The airplane belonged to the company. Jesus, you had me thinking you were Hercules or something. But now, it's all changed. My father, he isn't around anymore. Uh, oh, I see. About ten years ago, he rode in Pegasus off to somewhere and never returned. Riding Pegasus to whereabouts unknown. Sounds like the stuff legends are made of. It's been so long, I don't think I'd recognize him if we were to ever meet again. I'm so sorry, Lauren. But I won't give in to the sadness! I have to live! Yes, Lauren, live! About this incident... Incident? But isn't the kidnapping already over and dealt with? I've been here the whole time, so I'm afraid I don't know much about any other incident. How did you come to know that Lance had been kidnapped? Oh, um, that's because of my woman's intuition! You based everything on that. I know everything when it comes to my Lance. It's really strange. It really must be destiny. <laughs> ah, she started fantasizing again. So, what are you going to do now, Mr. Edgeworth? We already established that there's a good chance that the killer is the other kidnapper. It's my duty to figure out who this other person is. I believe there is one location that might hold a clue or two. And I believe that is... The place where we were held as prisoners! Hold it! Don't lump me in with you! I can't allow you to slander my good name as a great thief by saying I was captured! Not being able to escape from somewhere qualifies you as a caged bird, Kay. Besides, we checked that place out pretty well while we were there, remember? Don't you think it'd be an even better idea to check somewhere else? 
Perhaps you are right. What I really need right now are leads to the killer's identity. I believe there is one location that might hold a clue or two. Which would be... The obvious location is the kidnapper's hideout. But we're still not allowed in, remember? Agent Lang and his men should be done with this area. In that case, there is no harm in asking that officer over there to let us in. Let's hope he does, otherwise we're stalled. What do you have to report? Senor! Nada inusual fuera de la común, senor! Hmm? Where have I heard such redundancy before? Huh. Is it possible for you to let us take a look around inside? Senor! Roger, senor! That was surprisingly hassle-free. Are you certain? Didn't Agent Lang order you not to allow me in? Senor! Eso es verdad, pero... El papi Gomzu me pidió personalmente que te dejara entrar, señor! ¡Y no puedo rechazar un petición de él! Wow! Looks like Detective Gumshoe has a following! Además, se me pidió que le diera este documento, señor! What is this? The man in this picture... Isn't this Mr. Oliver Deacon? But the name here says Colin Deveray! That's the same name as the one on the back of the pendant. It appears that Colin Deveray was his real name. What's this? He was convicted in a case ten years ago and sent to prison. What? Then what was he doing here? Apparently, he broke out of jail and then just vanished. He must have become Oliver Deacon to cover up the fact that he was an escaped felon. Now I'm not sure what's going on anymore. Is there some sort of link between the victim's past and this current case? These police documents are rather detailed. I should take the time to give them a thorough read eventually. It's fine. Let's focus on one thing at a time, starting with the kidnapper's hideout. Yeah, I agree. We should investigate first, think later. More than thinking things through, I think you should try remembering things first. Now then, if you could please unlock the door, officer. Estaba encerrado hasta hace poco, pero... Desde entonces las puertas estaban abiertas, señor. I'm not sure I follow what it is you're saying. Care to explain in a bit more detail? Señor, la puerta estaba cerrada con llave cuando iban a revisar la habitación. Así que trajeron a diez oficiales para ayudar y derribar la puerta, señor. I see. I guess that means I get Agent Lang's leftovers. Well, let's see what we find. So this is where the kidnappers planned their foul deed. While well, you were tied up for a while in the room next door. <laughs> okay, please. Must you bring that up again? Now then, down to business. There must still be some clues left in this room. Let's try to find out what we can of the other kidnapper's identity. And please do try not to steal anything, Kay. Watch out, Mr. Edgeworth! That's like seven years of bad luck right ahead of you! It's a broken mirror. It probably came from the haunted house. Why is this here? Are they planning to repair it? Someone's in for some bad luck anyway. This must be where they dispose of old and worn-out costumes. That's so sad. It would seem that they throw the costumes away in pieces. That coffee table over there looks very suspicious. I will do investigations to it. Folding chairs. By the looks of it, they were probably used by the kidnappers. Hmm. There are three chairs set around the table. Oh dear, the acrid smell of Starbucks coffee. Cheap styrofoam cups. Hmm, looks like only three cups were used. Folding chairs, and by the looks of it, we already looked over here. Hmm? I wonder what this key is to. Hmm, you got me. It reminds me of the key we found in the other room. That's it! This must be the key for one of those trapdoors! That wasn't a trapdoor. 
You only call it one because you quite literally jumped into it. Hey, but isn't that supposed to be what you do when you see one? I am not having this conversation with you. This is the kind of conversation that can only lead towards stepladders. I really do not want to talk about stepladders. Wait a second. There are three folding chairs and three cups. The symbol for the Illuminati is a triangle. A triangle has three sides. Oh my god. The blue badger has three points on top of his head. It's all clear now. Oh my god. Oh my god. I lost it. The common denominator between the cups and the folding chairs is the number three. Speaking of which, the number of missing costumes is also three. Wait, but I thought there were only two kidnappers. Indeed. Something isn't adding up, literally. Is it possible there is a third kidnapper that Lance didn't see? What have we here? Looks like a sword. A broken sword. Hmm, strange. Why would it be broken like that? Swords don't usually break on their own. That's true. All right then, let's think about it in this way. Maybe it broke when someone was trying to use it for or on something. Hypotheticals aren't going to get us anywhere. Perhaps we should think more on this later. This door is thoroughly broken thanks to the police who forced it open. I'm searching for clues. I need some today. There's nothing unusual about this area. That doorknob handle thingy is looking pretty beat up. I suppose that's what happens when ten officers break their way in with brute force. Hey, that's odd. The lock on this is completely fine. Look, not a single dent. But how is that possible after what the officer told us? Yeah, if the lock had been in use when the door was busted down, then the lock itself should be completely wrecked. So, the lock on the door leading to the outside is undamaged. How could that be? There's nothing unusual about this area, either. A sword that we have already investigated! I'm sensing deja vu. Would this be the proper place for Turbo Prosecutor power? No, I think it would probably be a waste here. Well, with that out of the way... Let's see... A broken prop sword laying next to a broken door with no broken lock. Eureka! It's a bit strange that the police had to force their way into an unlocked room. One look at the pristine door lock and anyone can see that it was not in use at the time. But the creepy dude outside said it took ten men to get it open! Hmm. A door that was locked tight despite it not being locked at all. It can only be because of this. Oh! You mean... Yes. It was used to jam the door. Here, take a look at the door handle. Do you see how the handle is completely destroyed? So that's how the sword broke! I thought that we might uncover the true identity of the kidnappers. But instead, we've only uncovered more questions that need to be answered. Ah! It's a demon! Sweet merciful heavens, it's the Elder Gods! Well, well. Mr. Edgeworth, am I correct? Well... What are you doing suddenly popping out of the secret entrance like that? This is an underground passage used by staff members, sir. We badgers also make use of it in our duties. Look, why don't you just get out of there first, and then I'll exercise you, okay? Ah, oh, I beg your pardon, miss. Proto Badger, get! All right, only one more to go! What are you getting all excited about? <gasps> Did you forget? The photo rally, duh! See, look, now all I have to do is get a picture of the Bad Badger and I'm done! Oh, uh, yes. I vaguely recall a contest or something of that sort. Creepy thing. W what? It's gone! But where did it go? Hmm? What happened? 
What's wrong? A Bad Badger costume is missing, sir. Oh, is that all? Well, it's missing because the kidnapper stole it. I heard about how they were stolen. But they said that only three of the costumes had been taken. What? Is he saying that more than three of them are gone? Mr. Proto Badger, please tell me a little bit more about these costumes you use. I suppose I have no choice but to have a chat with Mr. Freddy Fazbadger over here. What did you mean by a bad badger costume is missing? Why, just what I said, sir. We are one bad badger short. Counting the spares, we have two of each costume on hand at all time. Okay, so because one of them is walking around in the park... The other should be in that room. Ah, uh, actually, both of them should be in that room. Huh? What do you mean? Normally, we don't use the Bad Badger costumes. In fact, we only use them during a certain event at a set time each day. It's the stage show where the Bad Badger wreaks havoc around the park. And the other Badgers must work together to apprehend him, sir. I'm speechless that such a show exists. Well, sir, I was just trying to explain to you the only time we use that costume. Wait, so you nerds were just trying to rip us off this whole time? Personally, I can't believe that it's this close to showtime and there's no costume. Oh dear, what am I to do, sir? All this basically means is that the kidnappers stole four costumes in total. Then... Are you saying that there are four kidnappers? No, I don't think that's very likely. Oh? Recall the costumes for a minute. The stolen ones, you mean? What proves that a fourth kidnapper does not exist? A little bit obvious, don't you think? Take that! If you had four people and you had wanted to steal a fourth costume, wouldn't you naturally go for the full set and steal a pink badger costume instead? Yeah, that makes sense! And yet, the kidnappers decided to steal another bad badger. I believe the culprits needed two bad badger costumes, but the question is, why? Although, I do believe that this new piece of information may line up with another piece of information I discovered earlier. An unaccounted for costume and costume pieces in the dumpster. I think this may just be the break we need. Aha! The second Bad Badger costume. I believe it may be closer at hand than we think. Hmm? What do you mean? That costume in the trash. Wouldn't you say that it's wearing some very telltale pants? Hey, you're right! Let's get it out of there and take a look! As I suspected, it's a Bad Badger costume. Well, mine is the head. Alright, Mr. Bad Badger. Time for your pat-down. This is interesting. Is this spot somehow connected to any of the evidence I hold? I wonder if the Bad Badger might not be the source of that sword. Eureka! No, wait. What am I even thinking? He's a bandit. He wouldn't have a sword. He'd have a gun to shoot people with. Quick and to the point. Let's just try and forget that ever happened. Yes, I believe this Blue Badger guidebook shows the contradiction quite well. Eureka! I believe what we have here is an inconsistency. Hmm? Between what? Look carefully. Our costume is not holding something in its right hand that it should be. Hmm. Oh, the gun! Precisely. The Bad Badger was designed to always hold a gun in his right hand. However... You there! Did you remove the gun from this Bad Badger's right hand? No, I did not, sir. The gun is supposed to be securely attached to the costume. As I thought. The rip itself confirms my hypothesis that the gun was forcibly removed. Mr. Proto Badger, the gun is, of course, not a functioning weapon, correct? Absolutely not, sir. It's just a model gun. However, it can fire blanks. 
We need to use them for the stage show. It seems that our kidnappers also had a need for the model gun, my dear costumed friend. I think we're about done with this room. So, what's next? Well, we found a few answers. But there are still a few things left that we have to ask a certain person about. Let's go, Kay! Objection! Objection! Hold it! Hold it! Eureka! Take that! Take that! Next time! Finally, a chance to see some of these clues before Lang lays his smoldering, piercing gaze on them. Was it out here in the open all along? He couldn't come out and tell you he was your father because he was in hiding. <laughs> Do you still believe that a man like that could kill the daughter he was separated from? We wore different costumes and split up. That would mean the person Officer Meekin saw was Miss Pops. But right then, the old man just had to wake up!